Hey everyone, I'm going to show you today how to make a, a little rescued book portfolio. And um, this is a really simple book binding project. Um, sometimes I find books that, old books that uh, really have completely fallen apart and have no spine at all. So I either use these for sewn journals or like the Coptic Stitch Journal or um, a real simple thing to do is to make a uh, portfolio from them and then you can keep drawings for certain projects all together in that little portfolio. Uh, so all you'll need is some um, glue and this is, I use some um, PVA mixed in with some methyl cellulose glue. Um, I need an exacto bone folder. I have my book covers, two book covers. I have here I have a scrap of a pair of old jeans cut to the height of my book, uh, plus maybe four inches wide. And I also have a piece of stronger, I have here Japanese paper, it's a washi paper, so it's, it's pretty strong paper. I like to use Japanese paper and this is for the inside. So let's get to it. It's pretty simple and quick. So the first thing I'm going to do here is just clean up this edges of this book with an X-Acto knife and just go along and kind of carefully trim away any extra book cloth so it doesn't kind of get in the way. Okay, my edges are all cleaned up. And I have spread down some freezer wrap here. This could be wax paper, any kind of waste paper. Um, a glossy magazine works really well. And um, I'm just going to line up my book so that it's, it's pretty even. You could measure if you'd like. I'm not going to do that. And then... I'm using a triangle here to try to keep this somewhat neat. I'm just going to lay the book down, lay the triangle down about where I want the outside spine to be and just draw down and then do the other on the other side. You don't have to worry too much about any of this. This is kind of um, Okay, so I have lines which, of course, you cannot say. But what I'm going to do is paint on my paint, my glue mix here, right up to that line, and do the same over here. And sort of making sure, you don't want to be a big gluey mess, but I'm trying to make sure that I have have the glue down on the inside, on the thickness of that spine. And then just kind of neatly lay whatever cloth you're using down. Let's get the bone folder action going. And um, that's it. I've got a cloth rag here. I'm just going to wipe away a bit. And then I'm going to get my bone folder and go in a little bit just to make sure I'm getting that contact there with the glue. Okay. All right, let's pick this up. Move it over. I'm just going to wipe the glue off of here. Freezer wrap is nice to work on because you can do that. Flip this over and um, I'm going to paste up this piece of paper that's, that will go on the interior of this. And I'm just for this I'm going to use, let me just move this out of the way for the moment. I'm going to just use an old magazine to paste up and then um, the circular motion 
to get the glue really in there and then the starburst. You need a little more. You're going to have to work all that glue in into that paper. You want to really work the glue right into the paper here. Um, just take a moment and really make sure that you got it all the way to the edges. Okay, looks pretty good to me. I'm going to set that aside and bring my book over. And then, carefully, <laughs> and I keep putting this the wrong way because the design, lay it down here. Now the, the paper, especially these washi papers, will stretch a bit as you are, um, once they get wet, so you could cut it a little bit smaller, but that's actually a nice aid in helping you to get those corners in. So just work with it for a few minutes until you get that all these corners down and make sure you get the edges of your paper right out to the edge. If you've got any glue leaking out, just take a damp rag and wipe that away. Okay, so here's the finished book or portfolio. And what I usually do is just, you know, you might want a closure here. You could drill a hole through the cover put a little elastic around or a simple rubber band around that will do just as well. And um, frequently when I'm working, I will work everywhere on any scrap of paper that's around. So this is a good system for me to be able to collect those pieces of paper and keep them together in, in a little portfolio that is dedicated to one project. So that's it for today. Have a good one. Talk to you soon.